boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There is big news. You've seen the title of the episode. You want to know, unless you follow on Twitter, you want to know who or where or what or how. Big news. So, since we last met in the game against West Ham and Manchester City, uh, you can see beat Watford 3-0. 2-3. A 3-2 defeat to Hull. Uh, beat Wolves as well in the league. FA Cup victory over Brighton as well. We play Derby, not today, but in the fourth round. Uh, we then played Derby in the league. 3-3 and 0-0. I said there'd be some weird draws in here. I wasn't wrong. Uh, a very, very good win over Arsenal. And then Bournemouth was a 1-0 win as well. Looking good. Today then, Liverpool and Manchester United. Two of the biggest names in Premier League history coming uh, at you today, as well as tomorrow's episodes. Lazio Chelsea, Lazio, West Brom. Uh, Chelsea, of course, one of the better teams in the division. Should be a good one. Uh, right then, Liverpool versus Manchester United. But of course, let's firstly focus on the out. 100 million plus. Oh, dear. Financially, it looks pretty good. Still going to fail FFP, which I think is a five-point deduction. We'll talk about that at the end of the season. But that's right then, Dominic... Hello, them. I've said his name wrong pretty much the entire time, so that's why he's had to leave. But no, there, there was a release fee in his contract, and uh, PSG met it. 104 million. Didn't even put a bid in before that. Just went straight in there with the uh, with the, with a big time 104 million pound bid, and off he goes. Then 100 million pound profit. I'll take it. But it's sad to lose what is, in my opinion, one of the better players we've ever had at the save. And the fact he won't be here at the end is a little bit sad for me. But you can see he's he's moved on. 22 years of age. I. I'm genuinely a little bit shell-shocked that he went for so quickly for so much money. And I have no sound. Two assists already to his name, so he's doing all right. But that meant then we had the resources to bring in a replacement. And we had to bring in a replacement. I wanted to bring in a midfielder anyway. So the fact he left meant I could bring in a couple. Uh, one returning face, which I'm pleased about. But we'll see here then. Paolo Alves, a name that I can say very well. Portuguese international, uh, physically, mentally and technically. Very, very good indeed. I think we've got ourselves a, quite the player on our hands. Uh, I, th I think he's just he's good in all areas. I, I like him a lot. He's not particularly fancy or flary or whatnot. Uh, very good vision, but flair, like I say, not, not one of his high points um but he's world class as it says there and for 34 million pounds i don't think that's too bad at all hopefully he settles in very quickly and uh, adapts to life at thames but yeah 34 million pounds spent on a replacement for halladum i think we've done all right uh, not only that but jean patrick banner has signed on a full-time basis for a couple of years 33 year old still physically pretty good uh, of course we had him on loan you might recall uh, a couple of seasons ago was it even last season it was last season for a short time and he's back with us this season hasn't really featured for, for leon at all so we've brought him in and um, I like him. I think he's nicely well-rounded. can play a varied amount of positions uh, and still technically immensely has got the attributes required to be decent at this level, but very much a backup uh, central midfielder. So I'm pleased. Anyway, game time. Let's get into them. Liverpool first then on the Wednesday night and then Saturday's game against Manchester United. Back-to-back -back tough games. Never enjoyable. <laughs> But after a recent win against Arsenal, relatively confident. Uh, team selection-wise, then, Fatalo's going to have to step out for this one. Uh, Antonio's going to come in at right back, and the rest of the team uh, lineup is kind of unfamiliar. We've changed things around a little bit in recent games, and you seem to have won the last two, so I'm going to stick with it. Uh, I've dropped both Ferreira and Herzog, and Dorfer, of all people, Thorbin Dorfer has come in. He's doing a lovely job as Thor. Uh, with Calvo in goal, then Antonio, Giovanni, Eriksson, and Diallo at the back. We've got Alves and Jimenez in the centre now. Uh, just a, a new to say that to you. It's weird, but Kai one side, Mikulina the other, Dorfer behind Ben Hur. Uh, we've still got a couple of injuries. Obrenic, Obrenic whatever his name is these days, uh, is still out injured. Fatado, of course, you've seen us picked up that knock. I Minado mean, Skeet will be unavailable. Um, right then, let's see how we do. I'm actually going to put Banner on the bench for Herzog and uh, game time. We've moved to standard flexible as well. We were attacking fluid for a long time. Um, I've now come away from that because I feel, feel like it was hurting us. Number four was Saladum's number. I'm not going to give it to Banner. I'll give him 28. Am I retiring the number four shirt? No, but I, I feel uneasy. Okay then, they're playing a 4-3-3 system uh, with Smiths up front. We've played Smiths a lot, he's he's dangerous. A lot of caps internationally, he's, he's experienced. I'm going to say we're favourites for, for a reason, which is a weird thing to say against Liverpool. It's just occurred to me at this juncture, I've not shown you the league table. So let's quickly do that while we're uh, in, in the game stages. You can see a point behind Manchester United, uh, a point ahead of Chelsea. So the game against United is about to be massive, by the way. Uh, and Chelsea next episode is going to be a big year as well. Some interesting ties. Liverpool down in 13th, this on paper, should be... Should be a win, especially at home. But the game is not played on paper, folks. Because then it they wouldn't be football. It would be paper scores, which is not as good. Not as catchy a name. Fancy a bit of paper scores? No? Okay. Ah, well, that's gone well. well seconds into the game. Four minutes. And uh, Michelino has picked up an injury. What do you do? No Oscar Rowney, no Abrinich. Um, I guess Ferreira comes on. We're going to play him out on this side, just sort of floating around a bit. I don't know if this is going to work. We're trying things. Actually, we'll put him in the middle and play Dorfer out there instead. All right, there we go. We'll just, um, and that's not ideal, is it, four minutes in? As soon as Obrinic comes back, we'll be fine. 
But I've been forced to ensure a change. We've got ourselves a, a free kick as Ericsson heads on goal. Bender tips over and a corner kick to Thames. One of the worst sentences that comes out of my mouth during these episodes is the highlight's over. That will always precede that. No, precedes before, Ben. Uh... Hmm. It all. I just decided to stop talking and hoping it would all go away. All right, the first time you're going to see Elvis in action, we'll see if he features too much. He's number 15, so keep an eye out for him uh, as we continue this then, as Antonio combines with the midfield, finds it up to Ben Hur, who have taken off complete forward. He's now an advanced forward and looking good. Bloody hell, bloody hell. A hundred million pound sale. Uh, I should clarify, because it was a release clause, the board just went, yeah, that's, that's done then. And I sort of went, is it? And they went, yeah, it is. So, I went, ah, good. And that was the conversation. As the ball's played in, Ericsson goes close from that corner. As we get to half time at nil nil, things are very even across the board here. Chelsea and United are playing each other. I had no idea. City are, are battering Hull as well. Uh, so, one of those teams is going to lose out. We've had 15 shots there, six on target. They've had two, none on target. And 38% possession. And it's nil nil. I'm going to change nothing. Why would I change anything? I'm going to get aggressive, though. Far from pleased. I want to see a goal. They all look fired up and motivated, so let's have it. A very convincing first half performance. You've got to assume Liverpool will be better in the second half, but so far, so good. Almost an hour played here, and as the, as the scores remain at 0-0, you've got to start thinking about a couple of changes. Do you bring on someone like uh, Fiore at some point? As Liverpool, <coughs> Liverpool take the lead. Good. The nothing all game, pretty much. have been pretty ineffective, and... Um, well, well, you can see you at the front post from a corner. Definitely won't get a comment about that. Referee, that's a foul, mate. Get him off. Winters, he's already injured. He's gone. They're down to 10. Right, party time. We're going attacking. Manchester City are winning 7-0 elsewhere. So they're, do they're doing wonders for the goal difference. As we now drop to fourth. Oh, for heaven's sake. Ben Hur is having one of those games where he decides not to really take part. As uh, Jimenez is going to be replaced by Banner. I'm actually going to put Dorfer out here. He doesn't really like it. But I think we need to have a little bit more balance out on that side. It's not like we've not created though, is it? As the time ticks away. 1-0 defeat solid as the ball's launched forward unless it happens right now which is looking unlikely that's going to be game over and there you are then Thames nil Liverpool one terrific he's got he scored four minutes later got sent off and well am I unlucky I've just got most viewers I feel like in the last few episodes I've been rather unfortunate we dropped down to fourth position and if we lose to United then well, all hell's breaking loose. United won their game as well, so they could potentially have gone up to third because United won, actually. Uh, we know if we lose, though, seven points is going to be the gap. And, well, that is a bit worrying with just over 10 games to go or so. There'll be, be, what, 13, 12 left after this game? Oh, dear. 13 games left, something like that. And uh, Mick Williano's out for four to seven weeks, so we'll leave him to the physio. I don't know when Obrenich is back, actually. We'll let our assistant do that that press conference very quickly. Uh, let's see. how when's he, when's he actually back? Will he be available? Six days, so so no, he won't. Uh, Herzog or Rowney will have to come in then and do something. All right, let's get the boys rested, and I'll see you in a few days for Manchester United. Not easy. Right, just doing some registration. Uh, everyone's able to play. I wasn't 100% sure, actually, if Paolo Alves could play, but he can. Right then, Manchester United and uh, a little bit of a conundrum as is, is, is facing us. What do we do? I think I'm tempted, actually, to play Ferreira on the left-hand side because he can do it as like sort of, some sort of inside forward. And then um, we make the move and bring Makai across the other side. We'll do that. So Makai's going to play as an inside forward on either side, which is something we've not really tried. So let's try it now. I guess Man United. We need to win. Yeah. There's a temptation. Oh, can I drop Mackay? I can't really, can I? Form wise, he's been pretty ineffective. I'm gonna try I'm gonna be bold. What I'm actually gonna do is bring Herzog in and you can see what's occurring. So Herzog's left foot, so he's gonna play on that side, and then we're gonna play attacking both of them. I mean that would be very bold. I mean we'll give it a go to begin with, and we might have to sort of set them back a little bit. I'm also gonna bring Furtado back in for Antonio at the back, and Makai should definitely go on the bench in case all of this fails. All right, then. Here we go. What can possibly go wrong? We're actually away as well, so I'm going to start on the counter-attack at Old Trafford. We're going to try this out. I really shouldn't start trialling things at this point. In the... Okay, 4-4-2. Four, four, Let's see how we do. I'm, I'm not... Oh, they've won four of the last five matches. Um, I'm, I don't know how to feel about this, really. I'm going to say we've got nothing to lose here. I'm going to make it seem like, look, just go out there and do the job. I've got faith in you. Go out, go out and make a difference, you know? Whatever. They love it. Right, boys. Here we go, then. Party time. It's Manchester United versus Thames. Now, if we lose, this season is very upsetting as they've got an early throw in three minutes in. Here we go, then. As uh, they're, they're applying some early pressure. As it's, it's just been knocked around like pinball. They've finally got it under a bit of control as they bring it out to this left-hand side. Ball played forward. Viola ball to the back post and over. And a big chance missed. And that goes down as a clear-cut clear -cut opportunity, and I would agree with that. Very much so agree. 
injury to the, at the back for United, that's probably good news as they've had to make a change. I mean, forcing them into a change is a good thing. I don't think... I'm thinking now, if, if they offered me a draw away at Old Trafford, would I take it right now? I'm not sure I would. The win is so important that I can't not think about that, really. Uh, the other problem is in all of this is that City are becoming good as Dorf has gone, gone for goal. That's the first highlight we've seen, viewers. It's nice to know that we are involved. Ben Hur on a 6.4... What do we do with you? I couldn't give you more support if I tried. Maybe that's the problem. All right, let's make him a poacher. Let's just put him on the end of things. You don't have to do too much, mate. Just poach. Uh, we're also going to go to the standard mentality outside from counter now, so we can change it if we can go. If we're now go to attacking, it's not a big change from counter to attacking. We're just sort of moving forward. We're in the game. We've got a chance. We've got to try and win as well. Why not? A draw isn't that much different from a loss for us, really. I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. I am happy. That is that is correct. And late in the game as well, the idea that we can bring on Mackay to sort of punish this. Uh, this right back then that's good they look nervous united we look rel relatively composed although herzog looks complacent which is not good their one player who looks motivated has been taken off as well so that's positive do you know what? i'm feeling good about this we're gonna go for it away at old trafford we're gonna start attacking all right 20 minutes to go i think it's that point now where we need to actually think about making a change so uh herzog's gonna step out we're gonna bring mckay over to this side and go with this inside forward situation we were gonna do originally and uh, we'll just see i'm conscious of the fact there's highlights going on in the background and it makes me nervous ben has going on complete forward I've, I've bottled that essentially all right chance a highlight we've not seen very much of them at all as alves gets involved him and jimenez hopefully combined but no dorfer back to alves and uh, now it's inside and sort of tackled pretty comfortably united clear it though and a lot of work for that man to do but as he drives forward we're a little bit nervous and we're, we're closing down in packs which isn't always great because then you leave space in the wider areas as uh, a ball in inside oh this is not good i can feel it viewers oh no it sort of did a little freeze as it went in as well so you know it's going to be a goal because football manager does that when you get later in the game united take a one 0 lead and that's not good <sighs> this is this it's not it's not good it's a disaster is what it is i've gone for it. i've tried to be bold and we've been punished i mean what do you even do Bring Banner on, maybe. Bring Fiore on. I mean, you're hoping for a miracle here. And there's no miracle. Back-to-back, 1-0 defeats. How underwhelming. In a game which is very even, United have had one big chance and scored it. You've got to suspect that's probably going to be game over as far as the officials are concerned. And, well, Dorf has already given up. A shame. A real shame. And you might wonder why we've dropped Ferreira there and played Dorf in the center. He just he had a couple of decent performances, so I kept him in there. Things you don't always see. Um... Wow. Well, that's killed everything. I certainly say, unlucky boys wasn't to be. I'm not trying to kill morale before we get to the end of the year. Well, what we've seen, though, and this is the only positive I can take, is that the teams at the top have always faltered. Chelsea, uh, especially, fell off a little bit. City are coming on stronger now, though, and I think we actually do drop to fourth as United get ever stronger. Seven points is the gap. The end of the season doesn't look as if it's going to be a title win. Fourth. Oh, boy. All right, the next time we meet, Lazio and Chelsea will be the game. That first uh, first leg along with that Chelsea game. Of course, another big game for us uh, in between that Derby and Blackburn to play. So that's going to be fun for me. And uh, I'll see you for it tomorrow. That looks terrible. We love with care. We're going to switch to the next time. <sighs> just looking at the match stats of the Liverpool game again. feel like we should have won. Well, not just won it. Destroyed them.